What's up you guys, it's Steve here, and you are not gonna believe some of the headlines that I have to share with you that are coming out today. Breaking news, and I'm gonna get you caught up on stimulus. This is your breaking news, stimulus check update and stimulus package update. Now take a look at these headlines and let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Coming out today, Democrats are weighing whether Biden should decline to run for re-election in 2024, reports say. That is right. Coming out today, we're receiving word that dozens of Democratic leaders in Congress are anonymously saying, whispering, he should not run in 2024. That he is not helping the American people, he's not holding his duties as president, and right now with midterm elections, he is not helping the Democratic Party as their approval rating is plummeting and things are not getting done. Take a look, another one coming out today. Should Biden run in 2024? Well, Democrats' whisper of no starts to rise. In interviews, dozens of frustrated Democratic officials, members of Congress, voters have expressed doubts about the president's ability to rescue his reeling party and take the fight to the Republicans. And take a look, this is all coming out as of today as well, gasoline prices reach $5 a gallon nationwide for the first time ever, record-breaking nationwide $5 gallon gas. As we're hearing, Americans' number one top concern, and let me know if you agree, is the economy. Increased prices, inflation, maybe some stimulus, direct assistance and payments to help out people. And we're hearing that the number one top most popular provision that also helped fight poverty more than any other during the pandemic was stimulus checks. And 80% of the population right now supports a $2,000 fourth federal level stimulus check. Now, a lot of people are concerned about uh, increasing debt and inflation, but they're saying there's over $800 billion of leftover funds from previous stimulus packages. The president does have the legal authority to reallocate and repurpose existing funds that are unused why not take some of that money and send out stimulus checks? And people are saying, why are you prioritizing other provisions, other things, other causes over direct assistance and payment to help out people with the economy? And they're saying at this time, you're failing the American people. Take a look, you guys. Biden's approval sinks to 22% among young adults, 24% among Hispanics. And we're hearing that nationwide, it's under a third of people that approve of the president's performance. And we're hearing that this is almost historic record lows for any president that we have had so far. And we're hearing that this is gonna be spelling disaster for the Democratic Party in these upcoming midterm elections. And Republicans are just sitting back and watching Democrats fall apart. And as a result, we're hearing that Democrats, they're no longer backing Biden. Now, I'm gonna give you all the details. This is just coming out today as we're hearing them say, President Biden should step down. Now, the question is, if he does that, who would then be the leading Democratic candidate that would step up to face either former President Donald Trump, who we're hearing is gonna be announcing his run again in 2024, or would it be Ron DeSantis, which there are rumors that he might be coming up as well. And would that candidate be able to face against Trump or DeSantis and be able to win for the Democratic Party? Or is it pretty much just a given that the Republicans are going to take over? Well, let me know your thoughts, you guys, but I'm going to dive into the details. This is just coming out today and get you caught up on the latest. Now, before we dive in, if you could do me a quick favor, if you appreciate the updates on the breaking news, even on a Saturday evening, if you could just take a quick moment to smash that like button for me, helps me out with the YouTube algorithm a ton. Thank Thank you so much. Also, I'd love to hear your thoughts on all this. Leave your comments down below. Share this out if you think it could help out other people. If this is your first time here and you'd like to stay up to date on everything going on, I'll let you know about stimulus, Congress, what's happening with states, counties, cities, and on a federal level. All you got to do is take one quick moment to smash that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. And it's totally free. Why not? You can come join the Ram Fam. I'll let you know everything going on. And if you got any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3. And consider joining my second channel, Steve Ram Finance, to learn about growing wealth and personal finance and to make sure that you don't miss out on anything right now we are working on a comprehensive list of all checks on all levels because many of these are available and people don't even know about them and are missing out because they're only available for a limited time and so i want to make sure that you don't miss out on anything my viewing community will know about everything so keep an eye out for that comprehensive list coming very soon as well but with that being said you guys let's go ahead and dive into this article get you caught up on the latest as we're hearing that president joe biden is losing Losing support from the Democratic Party, which feels he has failed them in the midterm elections. And we're hearing that they are saying, Biden, you should step down. Let's go ahead and take a look. 
So link in the description below to this article that just came out today that says midway through the 2022 primary season, many Democratic lawmakers and party officials are venting their frustrations with President Biden's struggle to advance the bulk of his agenda, doubting his ability to rescue the party from a predicted midterm trouncing and increasingly viewing him as an anchor that should be cut loose in 2024. Wow. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Now, as the challenges facing the nation mount and fatigue based voters show low enthusiasm. Democrats in union meetings, the back rooms of Capitol Hill, and party gatherings from coast to coast are quietly worrying about Mr. Biden's leadership. Let me know, do you think that he lacks leadership abilities, his age, and his capabilities? Wow, let me know your thoughts. He actually is the oldest sitting president that we have ever had, and his capabilities to take the fight to former President Donald J. Trump a second time in these 2024 elections. Now, interviews with nearly 50 Democratic officials from counties, leaders, to members of Congress, as well as disappointed voters who back Mr. Biden in 2020 reveal a party alarm about Republicans rising strength and extraordinarily pessimistic about an immediate path forward at this time. Now, most top elected Democrats were reluctant to speak on the record about Mr. Biden's future, and no one interviewed expressed any ill will towards Mr. Biden, to whom they are universally grateful for ousting Mr. Trump from office. Now, but the repeated failures of his administration to pass big ticket legislation on signature Democratic issues, as well as his halting efforts to use the bully pulpit of the White House to move public opinion have left the president with sagging approval ratings and a party that, as much as anything, seems to feel sorry for him. Wow. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Now, that has left Democratic leaders struggling to explain away a series of calamities for the party that seem to be beyond Mr. Biden's control. Inflation rates unseen in four decades, which we're hearing is the number one concern of the American people at this time. Surging gas prices as well. And those gas prices surging, that's causing the cost of everything that needs to be transported to increase as well. A lingering pandemic. We are still in the middle of this with over 100,000 new cases per day. That's currently hitting a spate of mass shootings a Supreme Court poised to end a federal right to abortion, and a key congressional Democratic refusal to muscle through the president's Build Back Better agenda or an expansion of voting rights. Both of those did not go through, and we're waiting to see if a revised Build Back Better bill is going to pass. We're hearing likely before midterm elections. Now, Mr. Biden has repeatedly said that he expects to run again in 2024, but if he does not, there is little consensus about who would lead the party. Yes, right now, he's not getting a whole lot of backing for if he does. Now, few Democrats interviewed expect that high-profile leaders with White House ambitions would defer to Vice President Kamala Harris either, who has had her series of political hiccups of her own in the office. Wow, saying, we don't want Biden and we don't want Harris. This is coming from fellow Democrats. These Democrats mentioned a host of other figures who lost to Mr. Biden in the 2020 primary elections. Uh, Amy Klobuchar, Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, Cory Booker, Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg, Beto O'Kirk, former con congressman who now is running for Texas governor. Mr. Biden's supporters insist that he has the country on the right track despite the obstacles. But we're hearing the vast majority of people, they are not buying it. Now also, doesn't help that circulated around in April was a memo stating that Mr. Sanders has not ruled out, Bernie Sanders has not ruled out running in 2024 if Mr. Biden decides to step down. Now, in an interview, we also heard that they believe that Mr. Biden could beat Mr. Trump uh, in a second run, but if the Republicans nominated a newer face, such as Ron DeSantis of Florida, Mr. Biden may not be the best choice. If it is DeSantis or somebody, I think that would be a different kind of challenge. Wow. So there you have it, you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. They're saying they believe Biden could beat Trump again in 2024, but if Republicans bring in Ron DeSantis, that the, it could be a different story for Biden. Now, again, let me know your thoughts on all of this. Do they have to go down this route, or do you think that Biden could turn it around by providing stimulus, sending out direct assistance, and really addressing the economy, and not pointing the finger left and right at other people to blame, but rather being solution-oriented? Do you think that that could save them? Do you think that it would help, or do you think it's too little too late? Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Now, again, this is all just coming out today, and I'm expecting that there's going to be a whole lot more on this and and other items regarding legislation and stimulus picking up as we get closer day by day to these midterm elections. Things 
are gonna start getting intense. And I will be sure to keep you up to date here on the channel so that way you know everything that's going on. And as always, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. That is the latest. If you made it this far and you haven't already, don't forget to take a quick second, smash that like button for me, helps out the channel a ton. Thank you so much. Also, leave your comments, share this out. If this is your first time here and you'd like to stay up to date, it's totally free. Why not come join the Ram Fam? I'll let you know everything going on. All you gotta do is take a quick second to smash that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell. Any specific questions for me, shoot them to me in the DM on Instagram at steveram3. Join my second channel, Steve Ram Finance, to learn about growing wealth and personal finance. And also keep an eye out for that comprehensive list of all checks on all levels so you don't miss out on anything. But with that being said, you guys, once again, thank you so much for joining me this Saturday evening. Hope you and the family have a blessed day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.